Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry Ken, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So today is the day when we will finally clear some other locations that I usually don't clear, such as the sewers, such as the laboratory, because I need to get even more loot. Surprisingly, I still don't have enough loot because we need more loot in, in, in order to assemble that third watchtower. Uh, that requires the ATV as that watchtower needs us to get some iron rods. We need to get some uh, of the copper wires and you can get all of those resources either from the settlement or from that transport hub. But in order to get these resources from the settlement, we need to craft like some sort of awesome workbenches there. We need to progress in that settlement and we need to get a bunch of these aluminum cables and we need to get and we can get necessary resources from the laboratory. I think we can also get like some stuff from the sewers though. So I, let's go there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. We can get there some rubber hoses or whatever th those things are called. So without any further ado, let's probably get ready. We haven't cleared the sewers in quite a while. And let me check my watch here. We haven't cleared the sewers in about 30 minutes. Well, I'm going through with Joel's. We have to go and clear. But all jokes aside, maybe it's been a couple of weeks since we've cleared the sewers. We also, we're also going to go and clear the farm location. We will probably fight the blind one so that we can go and uh, do a raid here. And yeah, then we'll fight the colonel at the factory. But all that stuff is going to come a little bit later. Let's go to the sewers. Let's get all the weapons and let's go there. But even before we begin, I'd love to give a huge shout out to all of those that have just joined the stream. And if you're watching this live stream after, it's over. Shout out to you as well. Let me know in the comments down below. And there are pinned comments. Speaking of comments down below, there are pinned comments where you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. So make sure to use those timestamps. If you use them, let me know that. It's always nice to read your comments. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully, you're having a great um, Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. So yeah, hi. Uh, so yeah, guys, hopefully you're having a great, great Wednesday. And I got one more thing that I'd like to do. How about we go to the settlement and how about we get the daily rewards if I haven't gotten them yet? Maybe there's still that timer that's going to last. Oh, no, I, I don't think there will be a timer, actually. I think we can just go there and get those daily rewards. Then we can open up some of those mercenary contracts. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's get to the expeditions. Let's get that daily loot. Let's claim the loot. And there we go. We got it. And hey, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So we've just gotten 10 of these mercenary tags. So let's open up one. Let's buy another one. And now we can open up these crates. So inside of the first crate, we have gotten six of these quick draw stripes. I'd love to get another Connor. Because we have enough of the tags to upgrade Connor. And Connor is like one of the best mercenaries. If not the best mercenary. I don't really know if there is a better mercenary. As this is the mercenary that you get at the very beginning. He has lots of health. And I think you will always have this mercenary. I think no matter what kind of mercenaries you unlock. You'll always use Connor. I don't know. Maybe later on there's something better. But I really doubt that. I think Connor is like. like if not top one. They're probably top two. Or maybe top three best mercenary. Like even in the late game. Like he's amazing. And I have lots of stripes to upgrade him. But I just don't have one more contract. So who knows. Maybe one day we will get that uh, Connor contract. Now let's get back to the base. As we still have some more things to do. And yeah. We need to start building that generator thing. Whatever it's called. The substation. And for that we need 60 aluminum cables. And... It's going to be a while. It's going to take us quite a while to do it. It is going to take us quite a while to do it. But that's why we're going to clear maybe the laboratory today and the sewers. At the very beginning, I said that we will clear it for sure. But I don't even know if we'll clear it. Now, we'll see. Probably we will. Probably we will do it. Okay, let's go to the sewers. I'll get here a few shotties. A Glock. We have lots of these flare guns that I should use somewhere. But I mean... For some reason, I'm not too excited to use them. That's what I can tell you. I'm not too excited to use those flare guns. Okay, that's more than enough guns for the sewers. That's it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get more, perhaps, healing items. Let's get more food. Uh, do I need another armor set? Not really. I think that's more than enough. Let's get that stuff. Let's upgrade these guns. This is so amazing. It's literally... It has probably already saved me at least, like, maybe five minutes of clicking. If not even more, I can just go here. Click one button. That's it. All of the guns are upgraded. And we can just go outside... And clear those sewers. If that's not awesome, I have no idea what is awesome. Is there a website where you can design a base layout like Clash of Clans? Not really, as here you can't move walls, you can't really do anything. And the design kind of here comes second. It doesn't really matter how you design your base. As it doesn't really matter that much. You don't really have to defend your base as AI, uh, bots, uh, bots uh, are raiding your base. So I shouldn't worry about that. Okay, so let's go quickly to the sewers. And then we will have to go to the port location as it resets in 20 minutes. And I think 
We should be done with the sewers faster than in 20 minutes. Well, we'll see. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. Let's buckle up, buckaroos. So, guys, you can hear the guitar playing here in the background. So, first of all, it's a, an official soundtrack from last night. It's why link is down in the description. And today, I've finally gotten my electric guitar. It has just arrived, like, literally maybe 10, 20 minutes before the live stream. So, I'm super excited. I know nothing about guitars. I have no idea how to play it. Zero. Zero clue, but I'll be learning. So, I'm very excited. <laughs> Check out the guitar after the live stream. So, yeah. Let's up now in the sewers. Let's clear this place. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Good morning, says Machine Saucer. Good morning, good morning. Hola, senor, says John Emmanuel. Welcome, mate. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. Any plans to organize the racks in your base? My base is organized. Like, I've gotten that comment many times already. And, uh... It's the same thing. I'd say probably your base is unorganized to me because I wouldn't find anything in that base. Because... I'm not in your base, I have no idea where you store your loot. Same thing with my base. Like, it's my base, I know where I store my items, and it is organized for me. Because I know where I store the loot. And at some point, you're not gonna be able to organize everything. Like, if you just started playing the game, you've played this game for a week, then yes, maybe this base might seem unorganized, but... If you've played the game for a few years... You'll know yourself that you won't have a dedicated chest just for bolts, and there's that one dude. Well, I have a dedicated chest for bolts. Well, I don't have an entire rack of bolts, so I can't dedicate an entire chest for bolts. What I can do is dedicate a rack for bolts, wires, and lots of other things, and those resources keep fluctuating. One day I have, let's say, 500 bolts, and next day I have 20 bolts, and the base has to be uh, versatile. It has to be uh, dynamic, right? So just I can't just dedicate a chest to some resources that keep fluctuating up and down. So some chests will be a bit more messy than others, but... That's normal. It's a functioning base. So it's all normal. We need more storage decoration items like the warehouse. Yeah, I definitely like that. We should be able to craft some of those kind of storages. Like, it would be epic if we could craft like some sort of another warehouse. It doesn't maybe have to be as big as the warehouse, but it would be cool to have it. Uh, have you looked on Discord? They revealed a new room. Yeah, I mean, it's another Bunker Alpha room. It's just a game. It's just a game with a community. It's nothing new. It's A new Bunker is not coming to the game. It's just something random where the developers are playing, like, some sort of a game, and that's it. So it's nothing... So it's not a sneak peek or anything. I'm, like, 99% sure about it. Let's say yesterday I was 98% sure about it, but today I'm, like, 99% sure about it because all of the rooms are Bunker Alpha rooms, basically. Good luck with learning the guitar. I'll wait for the future guitar performance on stream. I don't think there will be any guitar performances to stream ever. It's just gonna be something that I'll do off camera. Let's say like a little hobby or something. So yeah. Okay, let's get that. A terrain map, uh, some glass. It's like, do you think there will be anniversary event tomorrow? I have no idea, perhaps. Still have 1%, still have that 1%. No, I mean, I don't think we will get that new bunker because it's just a... There go, this is the thing, guys. It's just bunker alpha. They've unlocked more rooms. They have unlocked two rooms now. The keep going room and don't touch room. And all of those are like bunker alpha rooms. So it's just like a basic... It's just a simple game with the community. Where developers like write some sort of a story and people like have to interact with it and whatnot. Like last time they have asked to decipher some sort of a code and people failed and uh, they said that, oh, the alarms are going off now, so you have to do like something else, blah, blah, blah. You have to take a screenshot of something. So it's just a little game to engage with their community and that's it. So it's not a sneak peek. But it would be nice if you could unlock sneak peeks like that. I think developers are onto something. We could be unlocking sneak peeks that way. That would be fun. But it, it is what it is. So to those that have just joined to the stream, welcome. I'm glad to see all of you here. What do you think about Bunker Alpha Floor 5 and thing, uh, five and 6? I think about it for a long time. Cool uh, that you're thinking about it for a long time. But I don't know if they're ever going to come to the game. Because truth to be told, I don't even think we need them. Like honestly, you have seen the fourth floor. The fourth floor is harder than the second and third floor and the fourth floor isn't really worth it so do you think 
fifth and sixth floor is gonna be like second and third floor. These floors keep getting harder, so I doubt that fifth and sixth floor is gonna be better or worth it. As that's what Bunker Alpha is all about. It's a cheap place to get guns, and if they add fifth and sixth floor, I doubt it'll be worth it. So, yeah. You missed the room. I left it for later, mate. No worries. But hey, thanks for letting me know. Say, so, this is how you can wall trick this Berserker. Or a door trick, or whatever it's called. So, yeah, I don't think we actually need the fifth and the sixth floor. If we get it, that's cool. But if we don't get it, we don't get it. I don't think we'll lose a lot. There are other places that would be cool that we'd get. Say, so, yeah, let's loot this room that I have left for later. Bunker Zulu will never come out. I'd like to actually to see Bunker Zulu then, fifth or sixth floor of Bunker Alpha. And we kind of had that topic many times already, but the laboratory bunker, well, not bunker, bro, but let's say the laboratory, the. Maybe not the transport out, but yeah, some of the places that we've gotten in the game, like the laboratory, could have been just like fifth, sixth, seventh floor on, in Bunker Alpha. So, yeah. There's that. There is that. Hey, Sack, do you think we'll get a new bunker? I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, if we get one, that's great. If we don't, we don't. I'm just hoping that we'll get some epic content. Some new things to do. Where's the monkey? What do you mean, where's the monkey? What about the monkey? What happened? Oh, let's... Oh, no. Okay, let's warm that thing up. I brought this minigun. I might as well just use it, right? They said unlooted bunker. It's, I don't know what they said there, but it doesn't... If we'll get a new bunker, we'll get a new bunker. As I said, guys, you asked for my speculations. I'm telling you that probably that sneak peek that we have there has nothing to do with a new bunker. That's what I think. But if it's a new bunker, that's great. I'm all for it. But from all the sneak peeks that we've seen and everything is just bunker alpha. But again, that's just my opinion. I might be wrong. Maybe, like, we are absolutely getting a new bunker. We'll get Bunker Charlie. We'll get Bunker Zula at the same time. With 5th, 6th, 7th floor of Bunker Alpha. And also, we'll get new floors to Bunker Bravo. and easy mode to Bunker Bravo. What else, guys, would you like to get? A helicopter. We'll also get that. I don't know. Whatever your heart desires. Okay, let's drop this generator over here. Um, do I need a spread shot? Perhaps let's get that spread shot and this thing. Okay. Wait, have we ever tried to go that way? I thought I'm onto something. For really, for a second I thought I'm onto something. I thought that maybe I can sneak through somewhere. I thought that something cool is gonna happen, but hey, apparently nothing cool happened there. Uh, let's open up the door. We should just finish everything missing before we continue with new season 37, old stuff completed. What do you mean season 37? It's season 39 now. We're gonna have season 40 in... Whoa! In 8 hours and 50 minutes! Whoa! I actually... It feels like we've just gotten season 39. These seasons are just flying. <sighs> Let's drink some water. But yeah, these seasons, ladies and gentlemen, are just flying like crazy. Are these sewers? Sora just joined the stream, says Yurika. Yes, this is, these are the streams. Wait, I've gotten more asbestos. Wait, is it? Didn't they change the asbestos drop rate? We were getting less of them. Before, if you got asbestos on the first floor, you'd not get asbestos on the second floor. Now I've gotten asbestos again. Uh, or are we talking about different resources? I think we are talking about asbestos. They are giving us more asbestos right now. For shizzle. 
This is the ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's skedaddle. Let's go lower. Just also gotta be careful to not die here. Because if we die, we die. Yes, they did change. Yes, indeed. So now we get more. You get a lot of it. Yes, they have definitely increased that stuff. So we are getting more as best as before. We'd get less. Now we get more. Which gets my approval. I like it. I bloody like it. I have more than needed. I don't know. I have. I don't really need asbestos yet. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be useful one day. Okay, let's go now to another floor here. Let's get ready with these guns. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go, let's go higher. Not always 12, but they did increase. Yes, they probably have increased it. So that's good to know. 12 asbestos from sewers, 12 robbers from the laboratory. Okay, we need to go to the laboratory. But laboratory gives robber inside a chest, right? Not with the those other crates. So we'll see. We'll see. We will probably do the laboratory after the port hub. Uh, the port thing. The, 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 the um, transport hub. Just the port has that boat here, so I always confuse it with the transport and port. In any case. Let's get the rubber. Any way to get carbon composites faster? By recycling guns, also waiting for the laboratory event, then by clearing the laboratory, zombies drop carbon composites. Whoa, it just destroyed those zombies. I got pretty lucky with the crit shots because you don't always do 120 damage. But we did it. I lost their 12 pistols. Yeah, if you die here in the laboratory, you will lose the pistols. You will lose everything you have here, so be very careful. Don't die. Every time you loot a floor, it's suggested to go up and leave your valuable loot, such as like these asbestos, so that just in case you die, at least you'll save those asbestos. Alright, we've just gotten some more glass. Anything behind this room? Nope. The room is locked. Let's go through here, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it. We are almost done with the sewers. So what we'll have to do is go back to the base, sort our inventory real quick. And go for the transport hub. More asbestos. So this time we have gotten 12 asbestos. Very lovely. Very, very lovely. Okay, let's get that. Maybe I don't need that air filter. Maybe I should take it, but guys, we already have, like, so many air filters. Have we gotten any air filters from season passes? Like, I am curious about that. It's probably in the spare parts. If we, we have 100... Well, we have enough air filters. Already don't have space in the base to store them. So, that's it. Let's get out from this place. We've gotten everything there is to get. And let's get out of here. The devs need to add something fun to the game, says so DX Gaming. I mean, it depends. Fun is a very subjective concept like what's fun for you is not gonna be fun for other players and they have just added the transport hub whoa look at that lag here unbelievable so yeah, they've just added the transport hub for some people it is fun i guess i don't know okay let's try to skedaddle from this place so before we do this let's get some other rewards where is the loot the good loot to strive for i mean we have just got it 12 we've just gotten 12 asbestos because that's a uh, nice enough loot. How much money did you spend on this game? Says Pokoyovo Grach. I think I've answered this question now a few times. And it's less than $300. And 200 of them went for the ATV so that I could unlock it fast and get content. I think it's around that much. Again, I have no idea. I can't say that for sure. For 100% sure. I don't know. I've never counted. But probably something like that. But as I said, most of that went for content. 
if I wasn't recording videos, I don't know actually if I'd be like, if I'd spend uh, that much on the ATV actually. If it wasn't for content, I don't know if I'd be still here playing it for six years. I mean, let's be honest here. Because I already have like everything for like, in the first two years, I've gotten everything there is to get in the game. Like we're just playing here for content at this point. In any case, let's hop back to the base. Let's drop these asbestos and uh, the spore. Uh, again, it's not port. It is transport hub. So we have to go to the transport hub. We have five minutes to get ready for it. So let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Okay, so let's quickly sort out our inventory. Um, this goes over there. Resin and asbestos are current bottleneck for me and many in the settlement. Well, again, I can't really relate as I don't play that much in the settlement. So I don't know. Resin and asbestos. Well, at least now you can get lots of asbestos. Like, you can get, well, maybe not lots of lots of, but you can get more asbestos than before. You can get, like, at least uh, up to 12 asbestos every time the sewer location resets. So that's good. I assume. Yo, Fernie95, welcome to the stream. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Hopefully you're having a great day. Grindelment. Yes. I <laughs> couldn't have said better myself. Grindelment. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to grind the Grindelment, a.k.a. the Settlement. Man, I need an event where real people play in the event. If you want real players, either go in Sector 7 or play Frostborn. As this game will probably never have, like, an event here in single play. Probably never, but I'm, I can guarantee you almost. Well, I can't guarantee anything. But I can tell you almost with certainty that we're not going to have any multiplayer events here in the single player part of the game. So it's not like... So I'm not saying that you should give up on it. I'm just saying that you shouldn't have thought about it in the first place. It's, it's not coming. You have Sector 7, the multiplayer part. The developers have stopped updating. And uh, then we have the single player part. That's it. If you want multiplayer, you can either play... Uh, Dawn of Zombies has some multiplayer. Then there's Sector 7 here. Then there's Frasborn. But yeah. And again, to be honest here, the PvP part in Last on Earth with the current guns that we have here in single player won't work at all. Like, what do you think? How do you think, guys, is going to happen? Let's say you meet another player like you. You Both of you have fully modded AKs. So you have, like, a SWAT armor and that's it. And you just, like, spam your gun and just, like, spam bandages here like this. That's it. That's the entire PV PvP. That's how you imagine PvP here. Like, Last on Earth is not meant for PvP. There can't be no PvP. They'd have to, like, add new guns, new skills, new everything. Like, it's... I said, Last on Earth is not meant for PvP. Like, this is not PvP. You holding the gun and spamming healing items is not PvP. And that's what kind of Sector 7 is to a point. So the more you know, am I right? Uh, okay. Let's get more resources. Let's get the aluminum bars. Let's get uh, some wood, some iron, some charcoal. Brown crates from police department are pure profits, says Pioppi. Probably. Brown crates in the police department are pretty good, but again, if you've been playing the game for a few months and you have green cards, you should be opening up green cards instead of brown, but if you've just started, then brown cards are amazing. Brown cards are sleepers. Not a lot of people know about those brown cards, that they're great. Are you excited about the sixth birthday of Last Day on Earth? Says uh, Fernie. Extremely excited. Like, never been more excited in my entire life. No, but all jokes aside, yeah, I mean, why not? I want to know what we're going to get here. If we'll get anything. I mean, we've just recently gotten a new update. So... Yeah, and even before that, we've gotten another update, I guess. No? 
I mean, we've just gotten that uh, transport hub. So, I mean, I want to know what we'll get during the anniversary here. We'll have to wait and see. Only time will tell. There we go. Let's start this. Psych promoting Frostborn. It's kind of new. Welcome to the stream. Looks like you're kind of new here. And the second of all, I didn't really promote Frostborn. I didn't tell you you should start playing it. I just answered the question to another player. Just gave a suggestion. I didn't tell him to play Frostborn. Like, I didn't tell him, hey, guys, you should start playing Frostborn, all of you. This is the best game ever created. The person just wanted PvP, and I said, if you want PvP, you're not gonna get it in Last on Earth here. The next most similar thing to PvP in Last on Earth is gonna be Frostborn. That's it. I didn't say that you should start playing it. And it's not the first time when I suggest Frostborn when it comes to PvP. Um, I'm thinking here right now. Okay, let's see if the transport hub is reset. Any news on, on the Forlorn Fair? We haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what they thought about that Forlorn event. Uh, it's it, it's actually sad. It's been like, what, two months now? Over a month, easy. Oh, there we go. That thing is reset. Amazing. So it is kind of crazy. They've added that Forlorn event and it just disappeared. Can we watch the video with you in it for anniversary? Maybe. The video with me in it. <laughs> the cameo. Happy Sire cameo in the last on Earth New Year's video. Forlorn event is a scam. I mean, it's probably coming back. We just don't know when. But it's really sad that they've added it and it disappeared for a few months. Like, for a few weeks, for a few long weeks. Maybe over a month. That's crazy. That is actually a little bit out of touch in my opinion. Like, there was that... And, I mean, I get it. If, let's say, we always had, like, this event here up here on the on the other tab here. It says Forlorn. Like, hey, it's coming back. Like, that Forlorn event is coming back. Here's your progress that you've had, like, that time. It's still coming back. That'd be great. But that event was there, and it just disappeared. And now it'll continue again? With the progress that we had before? If it'll stay there even. I don't know. It should stay. As developers said, it should stay. So it is kind of interesting. It is kind of weird. If I had to say so myself, ladies and gentlemen. Sixty seconds is in Ohio. A minute passes. Okay, I didn't know that. Thanks for the information. If you have any more info, please let me know. I'd love to know that. I want to move all of the Genesis weapons to one crate. Why didn't I move Genesis weapons here? Now they're everywhere. There we go. They're somewhere sorted out now. Let's drop the thingies that we don't need. I mean, this shot is broken. Yeah, that's more than enough. Um, I'll get another shotgun. We have first aid kits. Maybe let's get... As I said, for the miner, it's better to use bandages. So let's maybe get two stacks of these bandages. will be better. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome. Let's upgrade the guns. 
It's like delete your doggos for the memes. Okay, I don't know what kind of memes are those. I'll do it only if you do it first. Well, I keep my fingers crossed so it didn't work. It didn't count. If you deleted yours, I still, I'm still not deleting mine. I drone. Okay, let's get the drone. Uh, I simp for uh, someone there. What the nice nickname. There we go. Let's get the drone. Thank you. Thank you for reminding about the drone. I'm sure somebody else has mentioned that drone as well. But uh, let's get it. Why you take so many extra weapons with it? It takes so much space because it almost all videos. I see you still are left with few full durability weapons when you cleared the whole transport hub. Look in your own plate, mate. Oh my god, Sayak! Let me take my weapons! God damn it, I want to take my weapons. It's like you always have two spare weapons. Okay. I feel safer. I want to get my weapons. I feel safer. I agree. I do take too many guns. Like, that's a fact. I'm not even denying that. Like, everybody knows that. I take way too many weapons, but it is what it is. I've been playing like this for six years. And I'm not going to change my... I'm not going to change the way I play. Just, I take too many guns and that's it. I'll bring the rest back to the base. But I do take way too many of them. I agree. That's a fact. I agree. Okay, so welcome to the transport hub. Welcome, everybody. router every 12 months in ohio a year passes whoa my mind has been blown thanks for more information thank you he takes too many guns and always falls short in armor true true but as i said it's like it's it's just a pattern i always do those things for some reason i don't know why But it is what it is. I mean, I'll have to go back to the base anyway, so I won't be able to fit all the loot here. So I might as well just take more. Do you have a drone? Yes, I did bring a drone this time. Who knows, maybe one day in the future I will stop taking too much loot. I'll take the right amount of loot. Oh my goodness, I got stuck there. And I can buy my armor. Okay, we just spoke that I don't bring enough armor and there we go. <laughs> you have prophetic words here. I really don't have enough armor, so let's get some more armor from the inbox. I mean, you just said it and it happened. I wanted to take more armor, but I have forgotten about it. When I get ready, let me maybe explain more. When I get ready somewhere, I don't really think much. I mean, it depends on a location. Like for example, a a bunker, bunker Bravo, right? I know what to take the bunker Bravo. I take like full inventory of guns and an extra set of armor, like three, maybe four stacks of first aid kits and a stack of food. Like, it's pretty easy. When I go to the laboratory, I don't know what to take. Like, five guns is enough, probably. Like, three Genesis guns is enough, probably. Plus an extra set of armor should be enough. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you bring to the laboratory. As you can always die. You can always come back to the base. It doesn't really matter, so... 
I just take whatever. And sometimes I forget to bring more armor. But I wanted to take more armor. It's just I forgot to take it. But I definitely thought about it. You didn't need more armor, you just didn't dodge enough. Okay, boomer. Alright, boomer. I did need more armor. Even with even if I dodged enough there, I didn't have enough armor. Because that armor was already almost broken. Like, it was like, what, what 50% durability? And that wouldn't have been enough for the miner. I would have to switch to a different armor anyways. Okay, we can open up another crate here. That's the second one. And uh, to those that don't know, we have also assembled the forklift. So we can open up crates from the forklift as well. Do I want it? I don't know. Am I excited about it? I don't know. Where's your doggo? He's at the base chilling. I'm letting him rest. Because I'm a nice guy. You guys, for some reason, take your dogs to battles and... Why would you do this? I let my dog go rest. All jokes aside, they're kind of useless. Like, he'll get tired at the beginning of this transport uh, transport hub. And that's it. Like, do you finish this map in under 10 minutes? I never speed ran this map. So I don't know if I can finish it in under 10 minutes. Probably not. I never tried. Um, let's get another uh, gun here. Why don't you use the treats for doggos? Because doggos is pointless. Like, I'm already bringing here AKs and shotguns. Like, do you think we need a doggo here? Probably not. I mean, we could bring it, but as I said, it's mostly pain in the butt. Like, he sometimes steals your kills during some sort of events. I mean, I, I don't think we have any events now. Oh, we have the supply event. Speaking of events, thank you, Cyric, for reminding me about this supply event. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh... Okay, we escaped that thing. Now there are a bunch of these red zombies. An insane amount of red zombies. Yo, Austin, thanks for the super chat. The thing should appear here on the stream very soon. Thanks, mate, for the support on the channel. What's a good and safe place to download this game, says Austin? Um, Google Play or... It depends on your device. If you play on Android, you can get it from Google Play. If you play on uh, iOS, you can get it from the Apple Store. I mean, you don't have to download it from anywhere. There's no... You don't have to download it from anywhere. Place to download this game. You don't have to sideload it, as they say. So yeah, just get it from Google Play or Apple Store. If you have a Huawei, I also think there's a Huawei store, and you can get that thing on Huawei. But yeah, if you're playing on an emulator, you can get this game from a Google Play Store. So, like, get it from Google Play Store. Let's get that. Huawei. What are you, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Huawei. It is called Huawei. How do you how do you guys call Huawei? I'm not pulling this thing out. Like I would just call it Huawei. But it's Huawei. I have seen people call it Huawei. Like reviewers call it Huawei. What are you talking about? Reviewers call it Huawei. Huawei. That's what I say, Huawei. That's what I said. It's Huawei.
We don't skip the H from where, where I'm from. Well, I didn't ask where you're from. No, I get it. I mean, as I said, for me, I would also say Huawei. That's what I would say. That's how I would call it. That's how I call it off the camera in my with, in my family, right? If we we're gonna talk about that phone, that's what we'd call him. But like, I just don't get why some people make fun of uh, the way I said Huawei. That's how they pronounce Huawei. Yo, Austin, well, thanks for the generous super chat. I'm on PC, but have a good day. So on PC, as I said, if you're on PC, you can get this game on on an emulator. Maybe you're a little bit confused. So an emulator is a it's a it's an Android emulator. There are lots of different emulators. I am using a Mimo player. You can use BlueStacks. Uh, there's Nox. I'm on PC, but have a good day. Hey Austin, thanks for the super set. So yeah, you can get an emulator. Like I am using myself Mimo player. So you can get a Mimo player, for example, or BlueStacks. Just go on Google and type Android emulator, and there will be some good ones. BlueStacks, Nox, Mimo Player. You get whichever one and that's it. Then you just log in there with your Android. Uh, as you would use a normal Android. It'll be just like you controlling an Android device on a computer. And then you just download this game from a Google Play Store. So hopefully that answers your question. So yeah, thanks mate for the super chat. I just find it funny, you know, don't exile me. No, I'm not exiling anybody, it's just somebody laughed the way I said Huawei, so for a second I thought maybe I am mispronouncing it. But I mean, that's how usually English reviewers refer to Huawei. They say Huawei. So I'm like, okay, it is Huawei then. I said Huawei and they're like, Huawei, ha ha ha. And I'm like, what did I do again? <laughs> what did I say incorrectly? I was just trying to defend myself. That's it. I apologize if I attacked anybody. Nox player is actually good too. I've used probably all of them. The reason why I use Mimu player is because it works better. But maybe you need a beefier computer. Maybe yes, maybe no. I have no idea. All I know is that in some other games, the, the game doesn't work at steady 60 FPS. It kind of drops, especially at the base. And that gets stuttering in some other emulators. In Mimu Player, I don't really have that issue with a lot of games. It works better. Like, Mimu works the best, but it's probably not going to be better on la laptops, for example. I mean, it all depends. You just have to try it out. How much are they paying you to say their name 84,000 times? Zero. Zero, because you are my hero. I don't even know if that song exists. I just made it up. Oh no, there's nothing I can get from here. Uh, let's get a gun. But Sarek, one of the oldest memes of this channel is you mispronouncing things. Only OGs know this. I wish I knew that I mispronounced things. I mean, I still probably have some words that I mispronounce. Like the sewing kit. I used to always call it sewing kit. Even when I say now sewing kit, it feels, feels cringe. There are some words that I have mispronounced a lot in the past because I just didn't know that I mispronounced them. But I, I am fixing. I am fixing lots of those things. I'm getting better. Oh no, this dude. Sleep, schmuck! Hey, Glitza Kostin, thanks for the super chat. It says, Huawei. Thank you. Say Yale University. It's not. It's probably Yaley. Yale. I don't know how to say Yale University. Stop it. Stop making fun of me. It is Yale. That's what you say, Yale. Yay! Yeah, it's Yale. Yale, Yaley. Is it Yale or Yaley? Yale University. It's Yale! Literally, that's what Google said. Yale. Yale University. It's Yale. It is Yale. It's not anything else, AMA. Thanks for the super chat. Glitza Kostin, thanks for the super chat, mate. Welcome. It is Yale. Some people say Yale. <laughs> Yale University. 
yell. Yale. Some people just said say yell. Some people say yeet. Okay, guys, stop it. So what did I learn today? I literally learned nothing. Still don't on, don't understand anything. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Okay, let's deal with this carrion. Back to the other thing. How do you say that thing? Guys, it's enough. I already mentioned, mentioned them many times. Okay, let's get uh, more loot here. Give me ice cream. Excuse me? I don't have ice cream. I actually probably still have some ice cream in the fridge from like previous two years. A two-year-old ice cream. Am I gonna pop it eventually? Probably. It's like, you shouldn't eat it. You, you can't stop me. You're not my mom. Even my mom wouldn't stop me. So what do you mean, like, don't eat a two-year two year old ice cream? I'll eat it. If I die, I die. That's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. That's it. It's ice cream. Eat it live on live stream now. Stop it. I said I'll get banned if I eat. If I die on live stream, I'll get banned. I don't want to get banned. Uh, I don't have more space to take it. I'd love to bring like this one explosive material back to the base, but uh, kind of. There we go. Now I have more space. Let's get it. And we've also gotten this drone replacement battery, so I'll put it here. Because why not? Live stream making pizza. I haven't made pizza in a long time. Being demonetized is worth worse than death, yes. I can probably confirm. As a YouTuber, I confirm. Please kill the miner with zip guns. We're not gonna do it because I didn't bring any zip guns from the base. different pistola let's get it let's get that drone the drone is such a joke <laughs> like seriously such a meme in this game i'm not gonna lie you can't even use it when you run there we go i told my drone to fly here i don't even know where is that drone oh it's here there we go the drone is shooting the drone's gonna shoot three shots i told the drone to stay here in one spot it does nothing It started flying around for some reason. Okay. Like a smash like for the minor fight. Because we were about to destroy this boss. Let's fight with this dude because someone's gonna crawl out of one of these de uh, departments. <laughs> one of these compartments. That's it, we are ready. Except we are not ready without the proper music. Without the proper background track that slaps. Let's get it. We're absolutely ready, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Yes, yes, I am ready. Nice. I'm ready too. I am ready.
So there we go. I am absolutely ready, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open it up. Miner? Nope. It ain't him. Bring Morphe to play episodes. If I if I could get a dollar for each question that I get like that, I'd be I don't know. Maybe I'd have hundred dollars. Maybe more. Maybe a thousand. We'll be buggers. We can just rewatch old free to play episodes. It's not like you remember them anyways. And it's not like I'd do anything else. Like I could probably re-upload a video from three years ago. You guys wouldn't even notice that I re-uploaded that video. <laughs> because there's nothing new to show in the free to play, guys. What do you think I'm gonna show you? How to get an ATV? There's there is no guy's secret button to get the ATV. It is gonna be hard to get. I wish I could upload more free to play episodes. I'm just I just literally have nothing new to upload, and I am playing here on live streams. We play last and earth here on live streams. Oh, I just heard thunder outside. I'm scared. Um, I'll get these things. Uh, can I get that Glock? I need to find space for it. I mean, we have a lot of these wires and wrenches and whatnot. I watched every free-to-play episode at least three times. Make four. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. There will be more free-to-play once there's something interesting. Once there is something new to show, I mean, what do you guys want me to show you? There is nothing to show there. Butcher. There is a butcher. Ladies and gentlemen, let's deal with the butcher. There are these silly turkeys. Actually, butcher is easier than the other guy. And I don't even know if... Okay. So you do, do, you do more damage with the shoddy. With the Genesis shotgun. But you got older, so it would be nice. It would be nice. What if you to play episode? A, like literally, at the last free to play video that I uploaded was like a few weeks ago, probably. What do you mean I got older in a few weeks? Speaking of of that free to play, I've seen some people discuss. Uh, some free-to-play series sometimes being like, oh, I wish I could watch Happy Sykes free-to-play series, but they're kind of outdated. And I'm sitting there like, whoa, they're like literally a few weeks old. What do you mean they're outdated? Like, how often do I have to post these free-to-play episodes? These new free-to-play series every week? Like, my probably oldest free-to-play series are still relevant as nothing has really changed that much. But in the most recent, I start like basically two new free-to-play series a year. And like they're outdated, sorry. That stuff's outdated. Oh no, that's stupid. Turkey! It bit me and ran away. Read it properly. Like sometimes there will be more things to read in the sentence. I'll just read the part that I want to read and the part that I want to answer because the other part doesn't matter what it says. As I'm not interested in the other part. And I don't have enough time to read a wall of text, so if I have to read only a little message, I will read only a little message. Fish, senor. Sorry, I apologize. It's fine, it's not your fault. Pay to win series win. I mean, I'm not really interested in pay to win. That's why I would I make pay to win series? Like, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Do free to play and then buy everything in the shop. Okay, that's that's uh, one of the best ideas I have heard. Dude, that butcher is better than miner. Like easier for sure. I've almost used no healing items at all. Look at this. I've just used one bandage. Like kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Pretty easy boss, but the dude does heal up quite a lot. Oh, it heals up a lot. Maybe I should have dealt with those turkeys first. Would have been probably better. Would have been actually probably better. They just keep spawning, so it doesn't matter that I can... 
so it doesn't really even matter. Where's that stupid turkey? I'm back here, schmuck. Can it still eat them even when... Oh, he just spawns more of these schmucks. Well, we got that dude, ladies and gentlemen. We got this guy. We absolutely destroyed him. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Smash like, smash subscribe for more butchers. Okay, let's get now this terminal card and let's open it up. Yeah, that's it. I think we are done with this entire place, except there's one more container that we can loot. And hey, Ash Ketchum, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Oh, there are a few savage giants. Whoa. Oh, they do only three damage. So they're pretty easy. We just destroyed them. They say the third crate. Nah, we're not going to be opening up the third crate. But thanks for the suggestion. There's like the third crate, uh, what, what was that? <laughs> there is the third crate called people. It's like, it's like third crate, gun, gun, psych. It's like, w w guys, chill. Let's all take a deep breath. Is it a lot better? That's feeling a lot better right now. You should do it too, ladies and gentlemen. You should do it too. It's like third crate! Guys. What if I don't want the third crate? The third crate. Like motel cult people. Yeah, like people will defend motel that is great. Like till this day, I'll say that motel is bad. And that's it. Every time I'll say something, there will be people defending that motel. Oh my God, motel is the best place. I get their scrap metal regularly. I mean, okay, boomer. I mean, of course, if you're, if you're playing this game for like 12 hours a day, yeah, I get it. Like, Motel is good for you. I understand that. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up some crates. Are you ready, Buckaroos? So we got uh, this arm crate and this classified crate, which I'll probably open up the classified crate because I'd usually go for this crate if it's a CYF crate, but it's not a CYF crate. It's a GM crate. General Motors crate. That's why we get engines here. I'm sure this is probably some sort of a an Easter egg, right? Why else would that be a GM crate? Like what else does GM stand for? Like arm crate. Well, arms, armor. Whatever. Classified. I don't know. Here. Aid. First aid kits. Aid. Makes sense. But GM, definitely General Motors. For sure. Okay, guys. So we're gonna open up this crate as one out. I've only opened up this crate once, so let's open it up once again, ladies and gentlemen. Buckaroos, buckle up, and let's go for it. So I opened the gun crate. <laughs> Guys, stop it. Let's see what we're going to get here. Maybe a goop crate, maybe a good crate, but we'll see. So we have gotten two guns. We have gotten two of these slashers, which are all right. We have gotten four aluminum cables. We have gotten a manual earth drill. Emmanuel. Okay. Let's try to send some of these things there and uh, let's come back here and let's bring the rest of these items all right let's bring the rest of these things back to the base i'm gonna sort out my inventory let's say oof kind of weak yeah i mean we did only get three copper wires so it is kind of weak like the only things that i kind of needed were these three copper wires and i mean i did kind of get them so it is something kind of weak but i still think it's a more interesting crate than motel or lots of other crates like it's it's an interesting crate to say the least like there's lots of like different loot maybe not great loot but i mean i'm still not disappointed i still think it's worth it maybe maybe we could maybe leave some stuff in the chopper and then come back here but i mean why bother let's just go back to the base and then let's come back again here with an empty inventory it'll be faster Let's drink some more water, ladies and gentlemen. Let's drink some more water.
Uh, let's go back to the base. What else do you need to finish the drone upgrade table? You'd better ask me what else I don't need to finish the drone upgrade table. Basically, I still need everything to finish that drone upgrade table. I still need absolutely everything. I still need absolutely everything, basically. When are you doing another Scum Survival video? Maybe even tomorrow. I think tomorrow there is a new Scum Survival video. It'll be uploaded tomorrow. Posted tomorrow, because it's probably already uploaded. It's like, what if GM stands for gamer moment? No, it doesn't. But what if, psych? Okay, it stands for gamer moment. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, let's quickly sort out these guns here. And, uh, yeah, wish, we, wish there was a way to sort out the inventory a little bit faster. It's like, delete your base to get 20 tungsten bars. <laughs> What are you talking about, mate? Are we on the same page? Imagine you have you have a drone that has storage. Makes no sense because the drone already takes your storage. Just forget it. That idea was stupid. That idea was just bad. I'm pretty sure Kefir is deliberately, with, uh, deliber deliberately withholding your purple machete mod. The odds of you not getting it at this point is so minuscule. Mm, I mean, I doubted that they're doing something deliberately, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter that I don't get it. It's not like I use lots of machetes. I mean, when was the last time that I used the machete? But yeah. It would be cool to get it, but... Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Sell your account and start a new account. How do you guys come up with these great ideas? Some people are bored with a lot of things. With like a big brain. With like... Big... Uh, something. And like some of you are just bored with great ideas. Like, for example, eat your microphone for six, for six tungsten ore. Okay. That's a great deal. I'll give you a dollar and 43 cents deal. First of all, it cannot sell uh, accounts here. It violates last on Earth's terms of service. So, you can't do it. Let's go back to the transport hub. Let's try to pick up the rest of those resources. Delete your walls to prove you can build them back. What? Excuse me? I'll give you a handshake and a... F and a farewell. A farewell. Uh, not a farewell, but a farewell. Uh, that'll look like this. Uh, a farewell, guys. Not farewell, but a farewell. That's me. Right? And there is the farewell here. Uh, where... With a bucket? I guess that's a bucket. There we go. That's a farewell, ladies and gentlemen. That's me, and let's say this is like... I don't know. 500 kilometers. A farewell, ladies and gentlemen. Not a farewell, but a farewell. <laughs> smash like, smash subscribe. For more epic jokes. Let's go. I think you should play free to play regularly and post 20 minute videos daily, says Beast Aura. Thank you. Thank you. I will write that down. I will write that idea. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. One of the best ideas that I've heard. Let's get the loot. Nice joke. Sorry. It wasn't even my joke. I didn't even come up with it. It was DA. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. You should start a channel meme painting Cyric. Okay. 
Oh, and name it Painting Styric. Oh, I get it. I see. Okay, okay. Try 24 7 free to play with no pause just for the memes. Okay, guys. Stop it. I can't uh, cope with so many great ideas. I'll forget all of them. Should guys go slower in these great ideas? We should do some off camera mining on free to play account. Absolutely. What is a kilometer? Says Rubens. All right, if I had to get like 500 kilometers is about like 300 something miles, maybe 280, 300 miles. I mean, I'll check it real quick. Uh, kilometers to miles. Um, 500 kilometers is 310 miles. Well, I was about correct. One kilometer is about 0 0.6 miles. I'll make a list for you with all of these awesome ideas just so that you won't forget them, says Gilsa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll absolutely need it. Okay, now we need to quickly sort out the inventory, and I think we're gonna go to the laboratory. You might be like, but sire, should we go to the laboratory? I mean, you guys want me to go to the laboratory. Or should we do some raids instead? Raids or laboratory? I'm gonna actually make a poll here right now. Uh, raids or... Laboratory. Raids... Laboratory. Raids... Laboratory. There you go, guys. Too bad Harvard can't take uh, all of us in. This is insane. I know, right? I mean, it's their loss. Voted without thinking. Raids. Hell yeah. It's like, why don't you play in Sector 7? Cyric goes to Sector 7. Cyric, where are the raids? Cyric does raids. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. So we will do raids. We will do raids. The Paul has spoken. All right. I don't know where I'll keep this manual earth drill. I gotta keep it somewhere. <laughs> Let's drop that manual earth drill. Is there anything else that we need? I doubt it. But right, let's do some raids. We need to go and clear the farm location. So let's go for it. Let's take some random guns. Open two emulator tabs and do raids in sector seven. Whoa, that's big brain. That is big brain. Okay, so the poll has spoken. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Four guns is way too much. Let's also get a minigun. Let's maybe try to clear that thing with more miniguns. Let's get this. And the food. Oh, and also they've added a new update in Rust. I mean, I watched some Rust videos. Now there are skins for walls. Like, excuse me, sir. Like, what video did you watch? I watched Wiljum, the best Rust player. Sayak, Wiljum is not the best Rust player. Everybody knows that Spoon Kid is the best Rust player. All of your frosts, blueprints, Wiljums, they're nothing against Spoon Kid. And you know it. 
Okay, that's it. I'm ready. I didn't take a spreadsheet. Let's get a spreadsheet. Blueprint better. Nah, nah, that's just a lie. Blueprint is not- Blueprint is good. I'm not saying that Blueprint is bad, but he has nothing compared to Spoon Kid. <laughs> but psych. It's not even my opinion. That's a fact. Everybody knows it. I chose wrong. Go to the laboratory. Yes. If you had chosen the laboratory, I would have totally went to the laboratory. Okay, we've gotten some jerky. Let's eat it and... Uh, yeah, let's clear the, lab uh, the farm location here real quick. I don't even know what we have to do here to open up the blue crate or kill the bulls or kill something, guys. You have seen what we need here. I'm sure we need to open up the blue box, probably. I'm like almost certain that it's the blue box. Let's load the bag here. It's like farm the set. What? What does it mean, farm the set? We will farm the farm location. Yikes. Let's deal with these, these, these wolfos. You're so emotional, very emotional. Extremely sensitive. I'm just a human. I'm just a human. You know that song, guys. I'm just a human. Wow. Raider appeared out of nowhere. More raiders. You got all of them. Is it worth upgrading walls in your base? Or is it just a waste? I mean, if you want to raid, then you should upgrade your walls. But if you are not raiding, then... It's pointless to build your walls because zombies will destroy them unless those are level 3, aka stone walls. It's like, do you like potatoes? Yeah, potatoes are pretty cool. I think I've eaten potatoes two days ago. Potatoes are pretty epic. Everybody likes potato potatoes. Is this the backpack from Death Stranding? Yes, it's gotta be. I think it's called Cargo Backpack, but it, because in Death Stranding, they were like, it's like a delivery simulator or something. That's what people called it. You had to deliver things in that back. Oh no, I didn't get a melee weapon for the Revenger. No. Unbelievable. Okay, we got two katanas here. So let's get the two katanas. Uh, let's get the Revenger. Come back, schmuck! Do not run away from me. Not today. Yeah. Zombies don't like potatoes. I don't know, maybe. I mean, we've never tried giving zombie a potato. So we don't really know if zombies like potatoes or not. And before somebody calls it Ravager, it is Revenger. It is Revenger, ladies and gentlemen. Stop it. I hate potatoes, says Dean Jardin. You, you like potatoes, you just don't know that yet. Mm -hmm. But Tyke, I really hate them. Maybe I know better than you. Maybe I understand you better than you understand yourself. Even though you are a complete stranger, but maybe I know better what you like, huh? So maybe don't fight with me because I know better. Mm. 
do people really eat boiled snails with potatoes? Uh, do French people really eat boiled snails with potatoes? It is said in Romania that this is a fine dish. I have no idea. I've lived here in France for like five years, but I haven't seen a single person eat snails. So I don't know. Maybe it's more of a boomer thing. I don't know. Maybe people eat here still. I don't know. But as I said, I haven't seen it. I mean, some people eat it, but at the same time, I'm sure that other, in other countries, people also eat snails. Maybe in France, there are just more people that eat snails. I don't know. It's more common to find snails here, though, in, in stores. Compared to, like, let's say, Lithuania. Lithuania would have to, like, search for those snails to buy them. Here, you can probably buy frozen snails in almost every grocery store. Maybe not in every grocery store, but you don't really have to search much for them. You can always probably buy them somewhere in a frozen bag, I guess. As again, as a person that has never searched for them, I don't know. I've never seen anyone eat them, but yeah. It is what it is. What if suddenly you woke up and found out devs named him Revenger? I'd be like, well, nothing changed. He's always been Revenger. He's always been Revenger to me. Is there a cheap offense scar mod? I have no idea. Honestly, I don't know. Snail eating conversation. I mean, I know somebody just said something about snails. That's it. Okay, the blue box is over here. Let's get it. Let's open it up. It's like, we'll carefully release Metal Cutter in the next two years. I don't really know if we need that Metal Cutter. As I said many times already, Metal Cutter wouldn't really work in this game as you're getting raided by a bot. So if you have a level four wall and it gets destroyed by a Metal Cutter, it'll be pretty sad for you as it wasn't a real player that worked and grinded for that Metal Cutter. It was just a bot. Even here right now, like when two or three of your level three walls get destroyed during a raid, it feels kind of sad, but... I mean, these are level 3 walls, you can always upgrade them, but level 4 walls wouldn't really work that well with a metal cutter. So I don't think metal cutter should be in the game. Giants real quick. Imagine side gets purple machete mod. Well, if I get one today, it'll be amazing. It'll be a day for a celebration. Is last on earth paid to win? There are some pay to win aspects of it, but most of the game, I'd say, really isn't. You have to kind of know how to play it, though. You have to spend quite a bit of time playing it. But yeah, it's not really as pay to win as some people say. Like some people will either call like extremely pay to win that it's unplayable without pay to win or... Some people will say that hey, this game is easy, you don't have to buy anything in this game. Which I think both of those answers are probably incorrect as it's somewhere in the middle. You have to grind here a while, you have to play this game for a long time. Like if you want to play this game only for a week, you're not gonna get anything. Even with pay to win, you're not gonna get anything in one week. Kinda. It's not a game meant to be played for a week. It's a game meant to be played, like, for a year, right? At least. So it takes grind. It takes lots of grind. This game is all about the grind. Like, whatever you buy here, you just... You're kind of buying... Nothing, basically. Like, okay, we've gotten a bone sidearm. Nothing useful. 
Most of the time when people say that this game is paid to win, they usually refer to guns. And you can't even kind of even buy guns in the shop, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you can buy the silence pack, which is kind of garbage. You only have a chance of getting these guns. They're not even, like, guaranteed or something. Uh, heavy equipment. You can, like, get three guns for, like, 30 bucks. Okay. Good luck. And the same thing here. You can only get, like, some of these other weapons. So these packs don't really sell guns. You can't even really buy guns in this game. Usually just get them from Bunk Ralph and that's it. Nobody kind of buys guns in this game. I mean, I say nobody, but I mean, I can't speak for everybody. But there are some pay-to-win pay -to -win things like uh, ATV, for example. It is pretty difficult to get. So, yeah. There are some cool things in the shop, like, for example, when there's that, like, a metal pass, a metal door, a metal room, some metal rooms. Like, I mean, look at this, 120 bucks for this thing. Like, I mean, maybe it is pay to win. I don't know. But, like, if you buy that thing in the settlement, like, why would you even play in the settlement? Like, there's literally nothing to do in the settlement. Like, the buying something in the settlement doesn't make much sense to me. But I know, same thing with Clash of Clans, right? People will buy things in Clash of Clans to progress faster, but there's always a bigger wall in Clash of Clans as well. Like, that game never ends. So you speed up your process to get to the next town hall, and yet there's another town hall that you gotta upgrade to. Well, I don't know. In any case, that's a topic for the whole another video on live stream or something. Last Earth is a bit hard because you have to farm a lot. You do have to farm a lot in this game. That is a fact, my friend. For a second, I forgot how I called them. Whew. Got scared. I got scared, ladies and gentlemen. Why did I bring this gas tank here? Okay, let's drop it back. Uh, and let's talk to the raiders. Let's see what other tasks we have to do. We have to get the colonel at the factory. Okay, let's go to the factory then. It's like, how much clash of clans do you have? What does that even mean? I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? It's like, how much Clash of Clans do you have? What does it mean? Is there a factory? Yes, we're going to a factory right now. Let's buckle up, buckaroos. I just got last on Earth on my computer before. I didn't know how to do it. But now you help. Thanks. You're welcome. You are welcome, mate. He needs to elaborate. I don't know what I need to elaborate. But I agree, I should elaborate something. But before we go outside and before we f fight that colonel... Why is it colonel, but there is an L there? It makes no sense. It's supposed to be colonel. And you know it. At least colonel, maybe. But not Colonel. It makes no sense to call it Colonel. There is no R there. I call it bullcrap. The language is bullcrap. It's Colonel. Colonel. And I'm drinking this empty cup now for a few minutes. Will I ever stop? Doubt it. Um... Oh yeah, let's go find and kill Colonel at the factory. Let's go for it. Let's go. Okay, let's delete this bottle of water. Uh, that was actually an empty bottle of water. So it doesn't count. I spent the grocery monies on last dinner. Now I'm fasting. Time to get fit. Thanks, Kefir. Says Gilza. 
I don't think that's healthy, mate. That's all I'll say. Sarek, are you British? No, I'm not. I went outside and now I'm thinking, Sarek, think harder, guys. I'm doing my best. I don't know where I went. Oh, we went to kill the colonel in the abandoned factory. Let's go for it. See, guys, all I have to do is just think about it and I'll do it. If it's empty, is it? If it's empty, is it still empty bottle of water? I mean, I don't know. It's an empty bottle. It's just an empty bottle. Colunal. Colunal, yes. Let's get the colunal, ladies and gentlemen. They need to add Molotovs to the game. Uh, maybe. I just saw that comment a second ago. I can't even say who said that. Bakaru, what an amazing name. Bakaru said that we should have Molotovs in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's deal with the colonel. We got it. That's it. I mean, we can skedaddle from here, right? There's nothing else we need to do here. I mean, they're supposed to be zombies. I heard them. But yet they don't want to wake up for some reason. They're not attacking me. Well, in any case, let's skedaddle from this place. And uh, we need to probably kill the blind one. And then we can go for the first raid of the day. Have enough guns for the dude yes probably i've seen some people share passwords in the chat before but i see two different passwords so i don't know which one to trust guys so yeah guys if you have passwords to bunker alpha let me know the bunker password today is 97065 says ash catch him thank you mate thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what was the password? 97065. 97065. There we go. Let's confirm that. Let's activate the hard mode and hopefully it'll be enough weapons to deal with the... to get to the blind one. And hopefully enough healing items. Wait, I'm maybe gonna I'm maybe gonna get another stack of stuff from the first floor up there. Let's go for it. Let's try to get it, ladies and gents. Messi or Ronkl? Who on earth is Ronkl? And I'm not really a football fan, right? Soccer, football, whatever you call it. But everybody knows that Mbappe is better. Mbappe is the future. Mbappe could 1v2 against Messi and Ronaldo. And you know it. I just like to say random stuff like that. Because I know that people are like really into sports, into football. And they constantly argue about it. If you want to start an argument, just like say, you just say stuff like that that doesn't make any sense. And people will go nuts. Pretend as if you know something. Like, hey, Mbappe is the best. You can dribble the ball like no one else. Do you even dribble the ball in football? Or you dribble the ball in basketball? Doesn't matter. Mbappe is the best. Like, do you like baseball? Yes, indeed. Mbappe is the best baseball player. Uh, let's activate the hard mode bunker. Now you dribble the ball in table tennis. Okay. Let's deal with the blind one. You pronounce Mbappe, but you can't pronounce Huawei. You can't pronounce Huawei, mate. 
Stop it. Stop making fun of me. Is there a website for bunker codes? Yes, you can join our Discord, discord.gg slash happy Or you can join official Discord. You can go here to the settings menu in the game and there will be Discord that you can join. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. For a second there, my character couldn't open up the door. Here we dealt with the exploder. What type of brand is your phone? I don't have a phone. I don't have such commodities here. Who do you think I am? Bill Gates to own a phone? Nah, mate. I don't have it. Uh, let's get the shotgun. No, I just made a mistake. No, no, I just saw the just oh my goodness Made a mistake now the dude's gonna eat Now the dude's gonna eat well mistakes were made guys. It's fine I just saw a comment and I was like, how do I respond to it in the most polite way? And then I was and then I just clicked on that thing. Thank you. If somebody's left like some sort of a comment like say can you respond to my comment or something guys if you leave a comment and you ask me to go and read it up again I won't see it. I'm not gonna scroll up there and stop fighting the blind or stop whatever I do here just to find your name there. It's it's not how it works, guys. I'm sorry. This is not gonna be possible. So if you have something to say or something for me to reread, if I read something incorrectly or something, can guys just mention it again? As I won't reread it, as I won't be able to see it. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. So yeah, I apologize. It's like, scroll up, read my comment. Okay, boomer. Okay, Mr. President, I will stop everything that we do here to reread your comment. Which again, thanks for leaving comments, right? It's all cool, but... I mean, I can't stop and reread everybody's comments. As it'll become a live stream not about last and survival, it'll be it'll become a live stream about like whoever asks about that comment. Okay, let's heal up. My armor about to break, and I don't even know why I have bandages here. Okay, let's go in auto. Let's go first aid kits. Oh no. Let's get that. Let's get the minigun. Yo, Jayla S, thanks for being a member for 30 months. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel for such a long time. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And Jayla asks, what sup what I miss? Nothing important. Nothing too crazy. Bunker Charlie came out. We have now the submarine. We have Bunker Zulu. We also have uh, uh, the helicopter, and then I woke up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Say, so, Jella, thanks once again for everything. The jet, yeah. Also, jet came out. A rocket came out. 
Miss Cyric blaming the chat says Rudy Alejos. I'm not blaming anything. <laughs> guys, stop it. Stop it, guys. You're beautiful. We're almost there to get that floppy crate. Even blamed us for not getting Bunker Zulu. Dude, that never happened. That's hearsay. I have never... I have never said that. I have never, never said that. I don't know where to get the stuff I need to make the drone. I mean, there are lots of things needed to make the drone. If you need the, those controllers, you can go over here. Here's a tip and trick. You can actually go here and click on the rewards. You can see what kind of rewards you can get in, it, in each place. Like here you can get these flight controllers for fighting bosses, for fighting the A1 and uh, for A2. Yeah, for fighting A2 boss. That's it. So just fight that A2 boss. 10 times and you'll be able to get those 10 controllers if that's what you want to get. If you want to get other things for it, then you just need to click on all of these locations and see which locations drop that loot. Or you can also go on Google and be like, hey, where do you get that stuff? Or you can also join a Discord. Discord server over here. As there are lots of other things. I mean, there are like, what, 10 resources? I don't remember what kind of 10 resources we need, so I can just tell you which resources you need here right now to assemble your drone because I don't know which resources you're searching for. You can get wood in wood locations. I don't know. But I also kind of agree. Developers should do a bit better job like of uh, finding these resources. When you either click on it or there should be a button to click and it should tell you where you can get these resources as maybe at the very beginning the game didn't need that feature but now I actually strongly suggest developers uh, adding that feature as at first we only had like what wood stones iron and that's it then they added copper steel like that's it we, we had only like a few resources we didn't have that many of them now we have really a lot of resources and people constantly ask where do you get these and those resources so there should be a button that explains where you get lots of resources where you get all of those resources as we just have like way too many of them it is confusing like even for for me like i don't know most of the those things where do you get like those resources like this thing. I have no idea where to get it. It says can be found in the transport hub or created in a lathe in the settlement. Like it answers that. Kinda. But not every resource is. Is that clear? But yeah, whoever asked that question, hopefully I answered it. If it didn't, Thank I'm you sorry. for all your patience with chat shenanigans, including mine clown face. Love your streams. Rudy Alejos, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. There are no shenanigans. All of you guys are very lovely. Thanks, mate, for supporting the stream. Say so all of you guys are very, very lovely. Bloody lovely human beings. Rudy Alejos. The katana doesn't fit. How about we delete this broken machete? Uh, that's it. We are done. We just need to craft stack of these first aid kits. Uh, yeah, stack of first aid kits and then we are ready to go for the raid. It's like upgrade your chests maybe. Can't upgrade them as they require lots of uh, wood. And farming wood isn't that fun, so we're not upgrading them. They've, they're already kind of upgraded. Bunker Bravo is worth it, but hard. I mean, is it really worth it? I mean, it's worth it if you want the ATV, but is ATV really worth it? What is worth? Write me an essay. 5,000 word essay. Is that an essay? Or is that a thesis? I don't know. 
And hey, I'm not the one answering the questions. I'm the one giving you job to do. Right? So just do it. Bro, I don't have my alcohol anymore. I'm getting angry. Oh, there we go. We still have some of them. Nice. Your base. Like, base with B-A-C-E. Your base looks cool. Okay. You're making me blush, you silly ghost. is insane. Sorry for not reading this comment earlier. I've seen it. I answered it in the head. But, yeah. I'm sorry for making you blush. I apologize. Hopefully, you'll find... Uh, a... Hopefully you can forgive me, that's it. Hopefully you'll find a little spark deep down in your heart to find forgiveness. That's what I wanted to say. I only got the ATV as a free-to-play after four years, whoa. Were you really able to get an ATV as a free-to-play player? How did you get all of the transmissions? That's a lot of transmissions, 10 transmissions to get, that's... That is crazy. Raid, ladies and gentlemen, raid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we're going on a raid. Dude, I don't have lots of Glocks, I only have one. Okay, we got both of them, nice. Let's get ready. How can you avoid the blind one healing? I've just literally killed the blind one. There. So it's kind of failed there. You have to click the button before he heals. Oh, I was a free to play. I got it through delivery season, rewards, back in the early days, and two from the wheel. From the wheel? I'm kind of confused. Where do you get ATV from? Which wheels? I'm lost. The Wheel of Fortune isn't the VAP. How? What? What wheel? I'm a little bit confused. I am a little bit lost. I am. I apologize. Got one in the wheel too, but which wheel? I'm lost. Oh, the caps wheel. The the slots machine. You mean? Okay, let's get the hatchets. Five hatchets, and we can go. Oh, the caps. Okay, I get it. It's from the caps machine. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's 10 ATV, uh, ATV transmissions. That's still pretty lucky. That's a lot of ATV transmissions. That's nice. But hey, congrats on the ATV. Well, I'm glad to hear that it is doable, that free-to-play players can actually get that ATV, but it is very hard to get it. Okay. Understandable. So, do you help people with the game on your Discord? Absolutely. I wake up at 6 in the morning. Actually, I don't even go to sleep. I just constantly stay there in Discord. Everybody just asks me questions. I'm like... I'm like the last day on Earth guru there. I don't sleep. They just call me, like, in the middle of the night. Like, Syrik, I lost my tactical backpack. What do I do? Then I just... Whip out all of my blueprints, all of my ideas, and I, like, start helping them. Like, we go in the video call together, and I just, like explain to them how to get another backpack. I never sleep. As soon as I'm done with this live stream, I'll go back on Discord and I'll start helping people out. All the time. That's obviously sarcasm.
Because it's fine if I answer like hundreds of questions here during the live stream. It's not enough. I need to answer all of them on Discord. What a nice guy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. At least somebody sees it. Thank you. Okay, let's go for the raid then. LDE raid player 9877. But again, on Discord, like, all jokes aside, like, I might not personally answer questions there, but there are other people that play Last on Earth and they actively chat there. So if you ask a question, I'm sure somebody's gonna answer it. Either on uh, our Discord server or on the official Last on Earth survival server. Someone's gonna answer. It doesn't have to be personally me. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go back to the base and let's raid it, ladies and gentlemen. Support line happy psych for anything last and earth related. Yeah, do be like that. Like Cause I need help with the drone finding the pieces. I need to make it. I mean I just told you like a few seconds ago. I've spent like maybe three minutes explaining where do you get the things and what to do. Okay, let's drop here a C4. We got three, four, five, six, seven, and we got a few chests over here. Okay, we cannot even open up those chests. Okay. I'm curious, is there anything inside of this? Inside of that other room? I mean, maybe we'll put a C4, we'll figure it out. Maybe. Get the iron bars, um, the M16s. So I guess if you have any questions about last and join whatever Discord and ask questions there, and I'm sure somebody's gonna answer it. Like that'll be the best way for you to to get answers, right? I mean, there are lots of cool people in last and earth community, so. There is that. You are raiding my base side. Stop it. I'm sad. I apologize. I'll just take some resources and that's it. I'll leave the rest for you. And to not confuse any players because sometimes people get confused. So we can't have memes here. So no, you are not raiding real player bases. These are just bot bases. These are pre-made bases. I'm not raiding anyone's base. Like, how can you say you're not raiding anyone's base when this is clearly my base? Stop it, si guys. Stop it. Get some help. Take the tickets. I mean, I did get one red. How many more tickets can I get? What other tickets can I get there? 50 green. We don't have space for those green. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, we've gotten some more guns. Okay, so not a... Horrible raid so far. Okay. Okay, you know what? I will get those green. We'll see how many of them fit. And then I'll delete the rest. Okay, let's open up one more chest. And I'm thinking on exploding that other room over there. My inventory's full. Just chop down that chest! What do you mean inventory's full? Oh, the yellow tickets. I'll take them, guys. Absolutely take them. Yeah. That's what you say so you can get away with it. Get away with what?
Where are those yellow tickets? Bro. Okay, let's get them. Now we're gonna chop down this tree. Obviously, because why not? Why would there, there be a tree growing <laughs> through this trunk? Ooh. Okay. I say ooh as if it's crazy loot. I mean, it's something. It is just okay loot. Delete that rock. Oh yeah, we have one rock here. Let's drop it. And you know what? Let's pop one more C4. I know it's probably just a waste, but... We are here. We might as well just use it anyways. Let's go. Oh, there were more trees. Hey, more, more, more things. Oh, there's nothing else here. Okay, guys, so let's leave this place. So this base probably gets Sykes approval. It's not an insane base, but we have gotten a few guns. We were able to fill up our inventory, so it's not that bad. It was 2.14 a.m., a cold night. I was hopeless. Just been raided, schmucks. Just been raided, schmucks, to all my stuff. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to call. I was crying, but then something strange happened. To be continued, says insane. Okay, and what happened? What did you do? Did you call Happy Sayak? <laughs> did you wake him up? Some people do call in the middle of the night. Luckily, the phone is muted. But some people will call in the middle of the night. Or do you think I, I was joking about the tactical backpack? Sayaka lost tactical backpack and they'll call me in the night. Like, it's not a joke. Like, it did happen. It does happen. It's not like I get I hear that call because I'm sleeping anyways. But I don't know what people expect me to do when they lose their tactical backpack. Sayak, wake up! <laughs> I'm like, what happened? I lost my tactical backpack, Sayak. <laughs> What am I gonna do about your backpack? I'm sorry. For me, it's a 10 out of 10 raid. Nice. Okay, so we were able to leave some stuff. Except those green tickets, I don't want that garbage. Okay, that's enough. Deliver their tactical backpacks at their doorstep, obviously. Yep. Probably. Okay, let's drop that here. Let's share it. Sneak peek. What sneak peek? Sneak peek of what? Here, there's a sneak peek. Boom, boom. It's an old sneak peek. A few days old sneak peek. But there are no new sneak peeks. I don't think developers have shared anything. And if they have shared a sneak peek, then I will absolutely share a sneak peek with you. But it doesn't really look like they've shared anything. Nothing really new. So, doesn't really matter. Okay. No sneak peeks. Ladies and gentlemen, no new sneak peeks. I've seen people lo lose their faith after they lost their tactical backpack. Yikes. Crazy. Crazy. Drop that here and let's drop a hatchet, ladies and gentlemen. Psych just drop rock and log. What does that mean? What do you mean just drop rock and log? What does it what does it mean? Okay, let's also drop these resources.
Nothing here. Okay, we can store some of these weapons and uh, some gasoline over here. It's like there was a new sneak peek today. That wasn't a sneak peek. That was like a community post or something. That wasn't really a sneak peek, sneak peek. Okay, that's it. We have sorted out our inventory. Amazing. Absolutely lovely. It's like, love the last and aftermath series. Are you going to continue it? I mean, we've played it a few years ago. But it's a fun game. I agree. Maybe there will be more someday in the future. Oh, we don't even need to drop some... Spears for the raiders in the future. They already have them. Okay. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. And speaking of nice days, how about we have even a better day? And how about we hop to... I forgot the name. GeoGuessr, right? GeoGuessr. Let's hop to the GeoGuessr, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay, we are in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to multiplayer. Let's... Let's compete, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try to compete. And maybe then we'll do the Rubik's Cube, as we haven't speed cube now in... a few months. Like, I still occasionally speed cube, but it's not like I practice or anything, so we'll see. If I'll get sub one minute, I'll be happy. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's buckle up, buckle up, buckaroos. There's nothing to drink anymore here. Absolutely nothing. Drinking water. Why well, are there no, no players here? What do you mean only three players here? What is this? What is this game? Only four players. I'm gonna play against four players. What happened to Joe Gesser? You would click new game and there would be like 10 players immediately. And now there are only five players? Can I chat to those players? Unbelievable. Okay, six players, five players. Whoa. Whoa. Six players. Well, hopefully I'm not playing here against any... Any any no-lifers, right? Hopefully, like, these are noobs. Like me. I want to have a chance to compete against them. And I don't have the slightest clue where we are. Nice vehicles. Um, okay. I don't see any letters. I really don't know where we are. Like, it can be in Africa and can be somewhere else. Well, I'm gonna say that it's probably somewhere in Africa. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go for it around here, perhaps. I'm on the first spot, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Well, I was in the first spot, now I'm on the third spot. That's it. Well, that was an alright guess. That was a good guess. Looks like New Jersey says it's sack. Okay. Never been to New Jersey, so I don't know. So we are either in Cambodia here or Thailand. I don't remember in which country, either in Thailand or in Cambodia, they drive on the left side. I knew that a few good months ago. But I no longer know that. Well, I'll wait again till the very end to answer here. As if I answer right now, then everybody will start jumping around the map. They'll keep changing their answers. These little schmucks. Well, I'm gonna go for Cambodia. 
Wow, that wasn't probably the right guess. Well, I wasn't knocked out. It wasn't Cambodia. It was somewhere in India. All right. Well, still a decent guess. We're still in the game. That's what matters. Okay, the sun is in the north. We might be actually in the south. So perhaps... Australia, maybe. Either Australia or... Somewhere in Africa. Also might be South America. Well, it's literally mentioned, mentioned all the continents. Okay, they're driving here on the left side. Do they drive on the left side in the south... Burgstab R58, so this has got to be South America, maybe. Hey, South Africa. No, not that. Where's the R something? It is in Africa. I'm almost sure about it. And and the R58. Um R58. Okay, so it was South Africa, okay. Oh, there we go. There, there's the road, R58. There we go. There it is. They say New Zealand. No, no, I, I'm sure. I I think it's because of the sign. Like that green sign with that yellow R58 or something. I think it's only in Africa. In South Africa, maybe. Maybe. That's why I chose it. I mean, I chose Eswatini, but it is what it is. Barcelona. I mean, is it really this thing? So it's got to be Barcelona then. Okay, let's search for the... For where we are in Barcelona. But I'm not going to find it. It's not going to be easy. Unless it's not Barcelona. Maybe it's not. But it, it's got to be. It looks like a pretty big city. There's no way that they didn't find it. Well, let's go. It was, ladies and gentlemen, Barcelona. It was! I did it! I'm such a genius! Just because it was written there on that map and that's it. That's why I guessed it. <laughs> Just because it was written there. Go guys, last guess here. 1v1, somewhere in Canada, maybe. Either US or Canada. I feel like Canada. Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's go further. Let's see. They're driving on the left side here. Whoa. Whoa, what could it be? Uh, Australia, whoa. Uh, the apartment Steen Mitchell office Dean Street Albury Albury and Australia are Albury. Let's go for Albury then. Where could that be? There's Sydney. I'm not gonna find Albury here, will I? Whoa, I did it, guys! I've won! The guy said that it's New Zealand. But obviously it's not New Zealand. Did we see that Balbury or whatever else? Albury, there we go. There was Albury. Okay, so it was kind of hard to see it. I'd have to see it from this far away. Okay, well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. The first spot, we absolutely nailed it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. We got the first spot. So you're asking me, like how it's like to win? How does it feel to win? I don't know. Feels good. Feels absolutely good. Oof. Sheesh. Do we go for one more round? I feel like we should go for one more round, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Now we had here nine people. There we had competed with six people. Let's go, guys, for one more round. Let's see if we stand a chance here. Uh, M8 and something. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Wait, are they on the left side? Yes, indeed. They're driving on the left side again. Uh, M8S something. Is it... 
M8. M M. Well, that's got to be Australia again. M32. M1. A1. Well, it's got to be here then. Whoa, it ain't here. Whoa, whoa. It's not that I'm going for UK. That'll be closer. There we go. Let's go to UK. <laughs> it's not M at all. It ain't M at all. There we go. There go. There's A1 and M, M8 something. Okay. That was a horrible guess. I went for Australia there. Whatever. It was in Ireland. Oh, there we go. There's M8 roads in Ireland. Okay. Is GeoGuessr paid to win? What? Excuse me? I mean, you can play one game for free and then you have to wait 20 minutes until you can play another game. Um, excuse me, sir. Where could this place be? Let me throw... Okay, there was a sign. I'm not going to be able to read it. I mean, it's against 10 people, right? It should be pretty easy. I can't get knocked out right now. I mean, I'll go somewhere for, for Norway. Let's go Oslo. There we go. There's no way, like, I'd get knocked out with this guess. Not here yet, at least. That's what I thought. I also thought it's Iceland. I should have said it out loud. So that you guys believe me. But I also thought that it's Iceland because of that upside-down R. Because I think you can find it in Iceland here. If there was an upside down R letter. I don't know. In any case, let's go further, guys. Okay. No signs, no nothing. I mean, I'd like to say something silly, like maybe it's French. It's French. Those were French kind of signs, maybe. But I might be mistaken. No, it's not probably France. Yeah, it's not France. Okay, let's go here. Ziggy Rotsa, what on earth is this place? Ten more seconds. <sighs> well, I'll go here in the middle. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> let's go for Hungary. It was Slovenia. Well, good enough guess. It was a good enough guess, ladies and gents. I mean, again, Norway, uh, Sweden, perhaps. Could it also be... Uh, yes, this is this thing, guys. As I said, it also it's also Iceland. There's gotta be Reykjavik. That's all I know about I Iceland. There we go. There's no it's Reykjavik. Well, it is Iceland. Rudhus Borgdgar. Where will I find that Rudhus Borgdgar? I don't even know what it means. Maybe it just says like university something. There go, I'm on the first spot, ladies and gentlemen. It's gotta be that. And was it Reykjavik? Nope, it was a bit higher. Borgarnes. But we did it. We absolutely did it. Go on, a few more nice guesses. I only know that it's Iceland because, I mean, it, it is kind of dark there. It's kind of gray and at the same time the alphabet. They have a kind of unique alphabet. Unique letters in that alphabet. Um, we are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. 
sunf uh, sunflower fields. Like, where could that be? That M over there looked like a Russian M. Like a Cyrillic M. Okay, these houses are very weird. Uh, Romania, perhaps? I'm on the second spot. Maybe Romania. Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, was it? It was Bulgaria. So I was right, that was a Cyrillic M. Like basically Cyrillic M and Latin M, they're almost the same, but they are a little bit different. They look a little bit different. So I was right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not that stupid. I mean, it wasn't Romania, but it was close. I'm more happy about the fact that that M on the sign that said like 4.5 meters, it was a Cyrillic M. I was more happy about that. It's like they're the same thing. No, they're not. Sa incepa relaxebala. I have no idea what that flag means. I'm horrible with, fl with flags. <sighs> this is an easy sign. Uh, not Spain. Is it Spain? It's gotta be Spain, ladies and gentlemen. It's gotta be Spain. It's not Spain. No, what is the sign? It's Romania. No, it's not Romania. Bruh. I'm going higher then? No, no. I'm gonna get knocked out here. Oh, I changed my mind to Romania. That was Romanian flag, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo! That was Romanian flag. I changed it, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo! Was that Spanish flag or Romanian flag? I said I'm really horrible with flags. It's fine. Okay, that's a pretty big city here. The question is, where are we? Uh, Saint Gob Gobain. Flipisain Gobain. C O B T M C O. What is the domain C O? It's not Croatia for sure. C O C O C O. What could that be? The sun is in the south, kind of, maybe, well, not really. TR. CO domain, TR domain, what that is? TR, TR, Turkey. Could it be Turkey? I mean, might be, thanks, domain. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, those letters. Turkey, 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 Turkey. Let's go, Ankara. On the first spot, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> CO. Colorado, but why CO? What does CO domain have to do with Turkey? In any case, uh, it was actually Ankara. Wow, I was very close. Wow, we did it. Another Iceland, it can't be, but it's probably guys, uh, we are once again in Iceland here. There's no way they're giving us Iceland for like the third time today. Maybe. I just like to find some more alphabets. Some more letters. If not that, it's somewhere in Norway. Like, I have two guesses. It doesn't look like it's Iceland, though. Way too many normal letters. Well, I'm going up here. I'm going all the way up here. If it ain't that, then I'll be very sad. It was even higher, but... It's a nice guess. That was pretty, pretty there. It was pretty there. CO for company. No, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe CO stands for company. I kind of knew that it's either up there or it was Iceland. Should have went even higher. Bloody genius. Okay. Where is the sun behind us? Doesn't mean anything. It's now in front of us. Oops. Okay, what's on that truck? Greece? That's gotta be Greece, ladies and gentlemen. It is Greece. 
sure Zeus lived in this house. I'm sure about it. Absolutely. That's all I know about Greece, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Look at the letters here. Look at the domain. The Which city, though? Let's go here. The guy's not gonna change. Did he change his guess? He changed his guess. I shouldn't have voted so early. We did, ladies and gentlemen! I know it wasn't it wasn't Greece, but it was on this island over here. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. I got the first spot twice. Am I a professional Joe Guesser player? Probably. Probably I am. Probably I am a professional Joe Guesser player. What can I say? So you guys, now let's do the speed cubing, right? We haven't done it in a really, really long time. So let's just absolutely do it because I kind of miss it. But yeah. Uh, there we go. Whoa, whoa. This, these. Okay, so there we go. There's the... We found a timer. Something stuck in my head. Okay, that's better. Well, there we go. We got this thing. Something like that. Double W. Yes, indeed, guys. We got a double W. Okay, so here we... Let's scramble the... Let's scramble the cube, ladies and gents. So it's been a while since we... Since I scrambled the cube that way. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's do some also more random spins. I have a 20 second solve. I'm not gonna get a 20 second solve. I think my best was like 30 something seconds, but I got really lucky with it. Like my average maybe was like 47 seconds, 45 seconds. But I haven't grinded in a long time. So, yeah, I'll probably fail here. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready for it. Let's do some inspection. Ooh. Okay, cool. We'll figure it out. Let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Two, one, go. Boom. Hopefully I don't mess it up. I don't remember most of the algorithms here anymore. Probably. Okay, got a little bit lucky here. No, I no, I didn't mess it up. I did not mess it up. I kind of messed up at the very end. 47 seconds, pretty nice. I got kind of lucky and kind of messed up, so it kind of became equal. Pretty cool. 30, 47 seconds for the guess in a while. Pretty cool. Broke hint cube under five seconds. What a noob, haha, <laughs> says the X. It's fine. I don't mind being a noob. So it's still pretty good, ladies and gents. It's still pretty good. We still have a 47 average. Pretty nice, ladies and gents. So yeah, we will be probably wrapping it up now. Thanks everybody for joining. See you later, alligators. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow with another video. Probably that'll be Scum Survival video. It ain't saying I saw it. The CEO means for company something. I saw the the image that you sent. So yeah, thanks guys for being here. Thanks for hanging out in the chat. See you tomorrow, everybody. And yeah, take care, people. Take care, take care, everybody. See you later.